everyone! For today's video, magpuprove po tayo ng CPCTC. So, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, test natin na kapag na-prove na natin na yung dalawang triangles ay congruent, ibig sabihin, yung mga remaining corresponding parts niya po ay magiging congruent na rin po. So, itry na po natin. So, try nating sagutan itong number 1. So, ang given natin, segment ME is congruent to segment IJ. And then, angle MEJ is congruent to angle, J, uh, angle IJE. So, let's prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So, mark po muna, i-mark po muna natin yung ating mga given. So, si ME congruent po kay IJ. So, yan. Then, si angle MEJ so, MEJ ay congruent po kay triangle IJE. So, IJE. So, ayan. So, ang ipuprove natin si angle 1 daw ay congruent kay angle 2. So, ayan. So, iprove na natin. So, ang ating statement, number 1. So, ME, segment ME is congruent to segment IJ. So, given, angle MEJ is congruent to angle IJE. So, given, so, number 3, so, kung napapansin nyo, ito yung ating dalawang triangles dyan. Si triangle match. As si triangle IGE. So, ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron po silang shared side, which is EJ. So, ibig sabihin, si EJ ay congruent kay segment EJ. So, ang reason natin dyan ay reflexive property. So, si triangle match ay congruent kay triangle IJE by so side angle side. So, side angle side. So, by SAS congruence posture. At dahil na-prove na natin na si triangle match ay congruent kay triangle IJE, so yung corresponding parts niya, which is angle 1, kahit ng triangle match, ay congruent sa um, angle 2 ni triangle IJE. So, si angle 1 at si angle 2 ay congruent po by CPCTC. So, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, napatunay na po natin na yung dalawang triangles ay congruent. So, yung mga corresponding parts nyo rin po ay congruent. So, ayan na po yung sagot natin sa number 1. So, let's have number 2. So, ang given natin, si angle H, so, i-mark na natin agad, ay congruent kay angle L. So, pag ganun dapat, kasi right angle siya. Ayan. And then, E is the midpoint of HL, segment HL. So, E is the midpoint of segment HE. Ayan. 
So, i-prove daw natin na si JH ay congruent kay AL. So, mamaya na natin siyang magkahan. Statements muna tayo. So, sa ating first statement, so, angle H is congruent to angle L. So, given number 2, E is the midpoint of segment HL, which is our given again. So, dahil meron tayong midpoint dyan, big sabihin si HE ay congruent kay LE. Ayan. So, si uh, HE or EH ay congruent to LE or EL. So, definition of a midpoint. Ayan. Next. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayo ditong vertical angle. So, si angle 1 at si angle 2 ay vertical angle. So, definition of vertical angles. So, dahil si angle 1 at si angle 2 ay vertical angles, so, ibig sabihin silang dalawa ay congruent. So, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So, vertical angles are congruent. Okay, number 6. So, meron tayo dito side angle. So, so, meron din tayo ditong angle pa. So, angle, side, angle. So, angle, side, angle. So, big sabihin, si triangle JHE ay congruent to triangle ALE by asa congruence postulate. So, JHE is congruent to triangle JHE is congruent to triangle ALE. So, markahan natin siya. So, J... Ayan. At ALE. So, they are congruent by ESA congruence postulate. Since yung dalawang angles at isang included sides nila ay congruent. So, dahil na-prove na natin na yung na si triangle JHE at si triangle J, uh, triangle ALE ay congruent. So, ibig sabihin yung kanilang corresponding parts na si JH ay congruent din. Uh, si, ang corresponding parts na si JH at si AL ay congruent. So, GH. So, ito si JH at si, si segment GH at si segment AL ay congruent. So, by CP CTC. Ayan. So, pag na-prove na natin na ang dalawang triangles ay congruent, so yung mga corresponding parts niya po ay congruent na rin po. So, let's have number 3. So, triangle BAC and triangle BDC are isosceles triangle. And then, angle ABD is congruent, ah, uh, triangle, sorry, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. So, markahan natin sila. So, si triangle ABD ay congruent kay triangle ACD. So, A 
CD. Ayan. So, statements number one. Statement number one. So, si triangle BEC and si triangle BDC ay isosceles triangle. So, given. So, ito si BAC at si triangle BDC ay isosceles triangle. Number two, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. So, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. So, given. So, ipuprove daw natin na si angle BAD BAD so ito at si angle CAD so ito ay congruent. So bago natin ma-prove na sila ay congruent, so kailangan muna nating patunayan na si uh, triangle ABD at si triangle ACD ay congruent. Ayan. So AB is congruent to AC. So, definition of isosceles triangle. Next. So, si BD so segment BD is congruent to segment BC. BD, CD. CD. So, B, D, C, D. So, definition of isosceles triangle. Since meron tayong dalawang sides na common sa kanak. Since si B, A, C, si triangle B, A, C at si triangle B, D, C ay isosceles triangle. So, ibig sabihin yung two sides nila ay magkaparehas. Or, meron silang two sides equal sides. Two equal sides. Ayan. Next. So, mayroon tayo ditong share side, which is AD. So, yung number 5 natin, AD is congruent to AD. So, by reflexive property. Ayan. So, yung number 6 natin, Na-prove na natin na si triangle ABD ay congruent kay triangle ACD. So, si triangle ABD ay congruent kay triangle ACD by SSS congruence postulate. And since yung tatlong sides nila ay congruent. So, therefore, so yung number 7 natin, dito ko na lang lalagay kasi wala nang space. So, therefore, si angle BAD ay congruent kay angle CAD by CPCPC. CPCPC. Ayan. Kasi, napatunayan na natin na si triangle ABD ay congruent kay triangle ACD. So, yung corresponding parts niya na si angle BAD at angle CAD nilang ng dalawang triangle ay congruent din. So, by CPC, PC. Ayan po. So, number 4 ang given natin. Angle HOP and angle uh, PEH are right angles. So, HOP and angle PEH. So, PEH are right angles. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So, si angle 1 congruent kay angle 3. So, i-prove daw natin na si HO ay congruent kay PE. So, given a uh, statement number 1. So, angle HOP and angle PEH are right angles. So, given... Number 2, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So, given. And since meron tayong right angles dyan, so, ibig sabihin, si angle HOP ay congruent kay angle PEH. So, right angles are congruent. So, 
any two right angles are congruent. Okay, next. So, kung napapansin nyo, mayroon ulit tayong share side, which is HP. So, HP is congruent to HP. So, segment HP is congruent to segment HP. So, ang reason natin dyan, reflexive property. So, mayroon tayo dyan dalawang triangle. Si, H, si triangle HOP. Ayan. Ngayon mag-drawing. At si triangle PEH. P E H Ayan. So, si triangle H O P ay congruent kay triangle P E H by so, A A S congruence so, EES congruence children. Since, meron silang dalawang sides, ah, uh, dalawang angles, sorry, at isang non-included side. Ayan. So, therefore, they are congruent by EES congruence children. And since, na-prove na natin na yung dalawang triangles ay congruent, so, ibig sabihin, si HO ay congruent kay PE by CPCPC. Ayan. Napatunayan na natin na yung dalawang triangle na congruence by AES congruence to them. So, therefore, HO is congruent to PE. So, ayan po. Para mapatunayan natin na yung mga corresponding parts na ating dalawang triangles ay congruent. So, kailangan muna nating patunayan yan sa papamagitan ng pagpuprove ng triangle congruence, postulates and theorem. So, pag naduma na po sila doon at natest na natin, so, yung mga corresponding parts niya ay magiging congruent na po. So, by CPCTC. So, sana po meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!